The Samsung Galaxy S8 Plus is possibly the best flagship release this year. The phone by itself is a beast and it can be fine-tuned further by the users for optimal user experience and utility. I'll be talking about some of the settings that can be tuned as soon as you buy this device. If you love tech videos and don't mind honest reviews, make sure you hit the subscribe button and click on the bell icon for when there are any exclusives that you don't want to miss. Hey guys, I'm Abhi and you're watching TechSpecit. Let's get started. The Galaxy S8 and S8 Plus comes with many settings set by Samsung to save power. Some of them can be tuned without any effect to the battery backup to increase the ease of using the phone. To start off with, the resolution of the screen is by default set to Full HD, which is 1080p to save some power. Since the phone has the capability, it can be increased to QHD, which will make the display more crisp and clear. I personally prefer changing it to QHD, as I bought the S8 Plus for its flagship display, which is its main selling point. And just so that you know, by increasing the resolution of the screen, the screen on time might be decreased by 40 to 50 minutes on an average, so you can take a call as per your requirement. If you look at the screen normally, the resolution change might not make a huge difference. But if you observe keenly, definitely, the QHD brings a lot of extra sharpness to the screen. And like I said, I personally prefer that. Moving on, most of you must have heard by now regarding the red tint on some of the S8 and the Plus screens. You can simply adjust it by going to Settings, Screen Mode, and while Adaptive Display is selected, increase the temperature to warm, and below that, decrease the reds to half, and the blues down to a minimum of 2 points. From all the combinations, I found this to be the one that is more natural on my device. But you can definitely adjust these settings, as per your preference. The next is DPI. In the settings itself, you can change the screen size by selecting Screen Zoom and Font, and decreasing the screen zoom. For people like me who like even smaller interface, thanks to Samsung you can do it by activating developer options from about phone, software information and by clicking on the build number until it shows you are now a developer. Go back to the developer options and scroll down to minimum width. By default the number should be 411 if your screen zoom is set at a minimum and you can decrease the zoom of the interface by increasing this number. I set it at 500 and everything seems awesome. So you can select the number as per your preference and change the DPI further. Alright, moving on. I understand the positioning of the fingerprint sensor on the S8 and the S8 Plus, which is difficult for some of us to reach. So most of us prefer to use the iris scanner by default to unlock the phone. So to use the iris scanner, you need to press the home or power button and then swipe the screen to start scanning. This is a little time consuming to press buttons and swipe. So instead in the settings, go to lock screen and security click on iris scanner and draw the pattern if it asks for and switch the option iris unlock when screen turns on. So what this does is basically this starts to scan the iris as soon as the home or the power buttons are pressed. I'm personally in love with this feature as it works better than the fingerprint scanners. It does not take any extra time as soon as the button is pressed. If the positioning of the phone is perfect, it doesn't even show the iris scanning screen. It straight away unlocks and takes the phone to the home screen. This is so fast that initially I was worried that the phone unlocked even without scanning. But in fact the scanning time was really fast that I couldn't even notice it. So this definitely is a feature that must be activated on your S8 and the S8 Plus. Moving on to the dedicated Bixby button. I personally don't have any problems with the setup. But if someone is looking to remap the dedicated Bixby button, you can do so by installing the app called Remap Bixby Button from the Play Store. Download it and start the app and grant the permissions in the accessibility that it asks for. Now click on start the app and then on the remap button. Click on choose action from which you can choose wide range of actions that you can assign to the Bixby button. You can set up the Bixby button as a shortcut for the app that you probably use the most on your phone. So for people who do not like the dedicated button which launches Bixby, this is a must have app from the Play Store. The S8 is already an awesome device and after making these changes, I'm loving the device even more. I'm using this as my daily driver and there is a lot more content that is coming up on the S8 Plus in TechSplicit. So these are some of the useful changes you can make on the S8 and the S8 Plus for optimum utility. Let me and the others in TechSplicit know of any other tweaks by commenting below. Like and share the video and don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon to get notified as soon as the next video is live on TechSplicit. This is Abhi, over and out.